this video will show you the easiest way to take more action so that you can attract what you want. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my perspective as to taking action, how I'm able to easily take massive action in the direction of attracting what I want with the law of attraction and really of doing what I want and what I love to do. Now with action, understand that uh, first off, my perspective of it is that it's very powerful in the process of the law of attraction. There are a lot of times I'll post this on the channel and sometimes every now and then someone will say, you know, action isn't that important. Um, they don't know why I talk about it so much, but the only reason I really talk about action so much is because it's made such a dramatic change in my own life. When I started taking massive action back in February, everything began to change. I turned YouTube into my full-time career. I got rid of doing a job I didn't prefer. Uh, so many opportunities have come into my life, like the opportunity here in a, like, what, a month in order for me to go to Costa Rica. I've been offered to go to Costa Rica for a week, all-inclusive resort. You know, certain opportunities have come from this, and I believe it's because I take so much action. Now, I know that the energy part of it, the belief part of it, I also focus a lot of my videos on those, so this is more for the people that want to easily take action and knowing that when you learn how to do it and you do it consistently, you will get massive results. I wish that I heard this earlier on with learning the law of attraction because if I did, I'd probably be at a totally different space than I'm at now, but I'm grateful for where I am and I'm grateful that I can be the kind of the one sharing you that how this has changed my life. Now with the law of attraction, understand that what action does is action opens up opportunities for us. The more action we take in the physical aspect of it, think of emotions as the energy aspect of it, action as the physical part of it, the more likely we are to bring ourselves closer towards accomplishing and viewing those opportunities that could be in front of us right now. Now also at the same time, we always get a reflection of who we are being. And if part of the being isn't the action, we're not taking action, we're not actually embodying the full aspect of who we are being. Think of who we are being as how we are thinking, how we are feeling, and how we are acting. And the acting part of it is, of course, the action. Now, the most powerful way to increase your action and to easily take more action is to first off, have a stronger intention. So what you can do every day is have a stronger intention and be very clear about what your outcomes are. Also, be clear about what your vision is. The reason it was so easy for me to create a video a day, now part of it wasn't always easy, I got easy over time, over consistency. At first it was a little bit harder actually because I was also working a full-time job. So here I am creating a video every single day, which is something not a lot of YouTubers do. And I'm doing that while working 40 hours a week, while going to the gym every day. It was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie to you. But it became so much more easy as I went because I became so strong for the vision. I put so much more energy on the vision for what I want to experience. So what I would do is I would have such a strong intention and I would make that vision so clear to me. I would imagine in a year from now, this is back in February, in a year from now, where could I be if I took action every day in doing this? And I had such a strong vision of I wanna be traveling the world, I wanna be sharing and talking in front of people, I wanna you know, grow this audience on YouTube so that I can add value to the most amount of people. And I had that vision and I was so determined, I had so much intention for it to happen. And what I noticed is that because I made that vision much more bright, I guess because I made that intention so much more strong, it then became something I was able to move closer and closer to, and then it became easier. Now the other side of this towards making action easy, because at times it might feel hard, the way to make it easy is to associate and associate pleasure with taking action. You know, so many times in our life, it's simply that we are associating pain with taking action, and we're associating pleasure with maybe procrastination or not doing anything. The part of action, I believe, is that it is a part of the process and it is something that we can really enjoy if we decide that we can enjoy it. Decide that you're going to associate more pleasure with the process. To do this, all you have to do is imagine taking action and imagine yourself taking action and enjoying the process. You know, I imagine myself taking massive action 
and enjoying it. I imagine taking making videos and enjoying the process of making videos. And now because I've done it so consistently, because I've created hundreds of videos over the last like, you know, part of this year, I love making videos. Like right now I'm in this flow state because I simply have associated so much pleasure with taking action. The idea of action is a neutral idea and if we associate pleasure with it, we will enjoy it. Now the other side of this is associate and have and integrate what your vision is for what you want to experience with your passion. Make sure it's something you're passionate about because when you do take action, you will actually enjoy it. Now the funny thing is, is now I'm getting into creating a website, creating the courses, creating products. That could be very mundane to a lot of people but because it's like very technical, you gotta learn it and guess what? I associate so much pleasure with it and I actually love to do it because I feel like I'm architecting my own creativity. I'm able to create something that adds so much value to people. So that's the way I view it. I simply associate pleasure with it and I have a stronger intention for what I want to experience. So the next thing I thought I would do is give you guys a technique that you can use to make it so that you feel more pleasure when you take action and that you associate pleasure with taking action and also so that you have more of an intention for what you want to experience. You put that feeling within you and you increase it. To do this, all you have to do is, is first off, let me explain that it's an NLP technique, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. And this is a way that we can optimize a brain so that we're able to feel more into what we want. And to do this, all you have to do is imagining yourself while you're in meditation, imagine yourself even right now, visualize yourself sitting there and what you can do is imagine a ball of energy, like a, a ball like about this big, around your heart space. Now imagine yourself feeling passion for taking action. Imagine yourself taking action and you enjoying taking action. What you can do is realize that the more action you take and the more aligned, inspired action you take, so action that's backed up with emotion, in the direction of doing your passion, the more you take it, the more you're gonna love it. The more videos I make, the more I love making videos. So that's the idea. Now what you do is imagine that ball around your heart space. And what you do is you begin to feel into it. Even put your hands over your heart if you need to. And what you can do is start to feel into that. Instead of just thinking about it, start to feel into it. Now what you do is after maybe a minute of doing that, what you do is you imagine that ball of energy spinning in whatever direction you want and imagine it spinning faster and faster. And as it spins faster and faster, you are increasing the emotion and you are increasing the feeling you have in your heart space. Now what you do is you continue to spin it faster and faster and then you become present to the moment and you feel the pleasure for taking action. You imagine yourself taking action and you do that two or three times. You imagine that ball spinning faster and faster and as it spins faster and faster, you imagine more and more of that feeling, more and more of that energy and more and more of that pleasure you will feel as you are taking action. Now this is a simple NLP exercise that I use in order to increase the feeling I have for loving to take action. It's made it so much easier for me to take action. I it immediately will stop procrastinating and I'll start doing things if I do this exercise. So I just wanted to add value to your day, maybe allow you to start to take more action and understanding that if you take inspired action, not just action, but inspired action by adding that to it, taking pleasure with the process, you'll start to also get the results. So remember, taking action is something that's powerful because it brings you closer and closer to the opportunities in your life and that when you simply decide you are going to associate pleasure with the process, when you decide that you're gonna have a stronger intention for what you want to experience and a stronger vision, it will make it so much easier for you to experience. So. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you're able to see the daily videos that I do. Also, I put a free PDF inside the description box on the top three LOA techniques that have changed my life. Feel free to check that out if you want. All you gotta do is hit on that link. And other than that, as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, much love, namaste.